Today we're cooking pork belly tacos my way. And I'm sorry, I had to get started without y'all. Mm-mm-mm. All right, let's make some simple, easy guacamole. Now, all I'm gonna do is start off with three just regular or smaller size avocados that are right ready to go. Let's cut those up and get them in the bowl. All right, let's go ahead and get our avocados mashed up. Now, I am gonna go in and squeeze in a half a lime. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I went and got the big guns because I'm gonna sit there and try to run that avocado around that bowl right there with that small fork. So I'm just gonna rough mash this right here. And now that I've got it just rough mashed, just how I want it, now I'm gonna go back to my fork and finish chopping these vegetables. Now you can see that's a lot of red onion. You can use as much or as little as you want. It's completely up to you. All right, now that I get in there, let's cut some Roma tomatoes. Now I think all I'm gonna put is one tomato in mine. Now I'm gonna come back with a little bit of jalapeno. All right, half of one jalapeno chopped up real fine. Now I'm going to save that other half of mine. I am going to take, kick this up a little bit with some garlic jalapeno roe. A little bit of that. And then I'm going to come back, I always come back with a little bit of my citrus rub in guacamole. A little bit more coarse, some citrus notes. All right, let's get that fork out of there. Let's get this tossed around. Now I'm gonna go ahead and toss in my other half of a lime. And here's a little trick. If you're having a problem squeezing lime or lemons, you can always throw them in your tongs like this and squeeze them and get all of that juice out if that's what you wanna do. Just gotta set them to the side now. All right, now that we've got everything mixed around, you know I gotta give it a little taste test here to see how we done. We may need a little more of that garlic jalapeno rub. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Mm, let's get this in the fridge and let all those flavors marry. And we're gonna be back to make these tacos. All right, we're gonna take our other leftover pork belly that we smoked like a brisket on our outlaw smoker. It's already cooked, but it's back cold, right? So now I'm gonna take, slice it, and we're gonna grill it off for those pork belly tacos. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and even out my slice here. You can see how it's kinda of uneven on the end, right? Now, I want a nice slice in my taco. So I'm gonna go about that thick. Maybe a little thicker than a pencil. Everybody's always asking, what do you do with all that meat you cook? Well, sometimes you save some of it and you repurpose it. And this is what I'm doing today. This is gonna make a great taco dinner. All right, our Royal Oak Super Size Charcoal Briquettes are lit up. Let's go ahead and pour them out and get our grill set up for Two Zone Grilling. <laughs> All right, before we start grilling our pork belly off, I'm gonna go ahead and grill off some tortillas and get them in our holder here, just so they'll be warm and ready to go. Now, this fire is good and it's running about 350 degrees, not too hot, but not too warm either. Now what we're looking for is that little bit of puff right there. See that tortilla starting to puff up? Now I'm gonna start flipping it over. All right, now that we've got our pork belly sliced up, it's kind of set out here. It's already cooked, remember that. Now I'm gonna take and sprinkle just a little bit of my sweet rub on here. Now I'm gonna move these three pieces here where I can get a good coat down. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of that sweet rub down on that pork belly. Now once I get that season in, I'm gonna turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. 
All right, now that we got our pork belly seasoned up with a little more sweet rub here, let's get it over to our Weber and grill it off. All right, our coals are good and ready. You see I've got my pork belly over here. Let's start getting it grilled off. Now it's not gonna take long. We're just heating it up and getting some color on it. Now you know it might flame up, so you gotta stay over here with it. You can't shut the grill lid. All right, now I'm gonna start glazing this up with a little bit of sweet sauce now that we've got some char marks on it. All right, you can see our pork belly. We kind of seared it off with that sweet rub on it, brushed a little bit of sweet sauce on both sides, shut the grill lid for about three minutes, and you can see that it is nice and caramelized up. Let's take it off. That looks like miniature short ribs, don't it? Now let's take this off and get it panned up, carry it over here, and get ready to build some tacos. All right, our pork belly is off of the grill. So just to recap, we took some leftover pork belly that we smoked like a brisket, cooled it down in the fridge, and then we took it out, sliced it in kind of a little bit thicker than pencil slices, rubbed a little bit of sweet rub on it or sprinkled it on it, put it on our Weber grill and kind of got a little bit of char on it, moved it to the side, brushed it with sauce, let it glaze up and tack up real good for a few minutes, and we warmed up some tortilla shells. We made some homemade guacamole, and we're gonna have a pork belly guacamole taco. Let's get started on it. So I'm gonna take a good tortilla shell here that I've grilled up. Let me get that shut. I'm gonna take a piece of my pork belly here. Let's go ahead and pick up a piece. And you can see that's nice glazed up. Got a little hint of barbecue sauce, but not much on it. Mm -mm. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this chunky guacamole, spread down that taco. And you know I'm gonna take a little hint of that lime juice. Now you can add hot sauce or anything else you want. It's completely up to you. Now, when I get that in there like that, I'm gonna fold her up. It's time to take a good bite. You know I gotta try this. Mm. That is incredible. Smoke fell out. Let me scoop it back up. The little bit of sweet bite you get from that sweet barbecue sauce, but you get the punch from that black pepper that was on there. I might well go back and add a little hot sauce later on just because I do like a little hot sauce. The guacamole though and the play against this pork belly is incredible. If you happen to like pork belly or have some leftover pork belly, you can even do it out of burn ins or anything like that. This is an incredible dish. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course YouTube. I'll see you next week with another recipe. Mm, mm, mm.